Okay, so trigger warning, this might be a weird video. A couple of weeks ago, I had one of those really vivid dreams. You know, the kind that felt like way more than a dream. I feel like I was talking to a spirit guide or some kind of higher being, and I decided to ask some questions. I got some pretty good answers and some pretty good advice. You know, the usual, all is love, love and forgive, love, love, love. And then right at the end, I decide to ask that one stupid question that we probably shouldn't ask. I asked, so uh, when will I die? Almost as quickly as I asked it, the answer shot back. Three months. And then I woke up. Shit, three months? What the hell, am I going to die for Christmas? It was a really weird feeling. Probably just a dream, right? But what if it's true? What if I really will be dead for Christmas? I looked at the pile of papers and crap on my desk, at the clutter in my bedroom that started creeping in again, and suddenly there was a massive shifting of priorities. All of a sudden, a bunch of stuff that I was holding onto because what if became totally meaningless. If I'm out of here in three months, I'm not going to need these. If I only have three months, I'm not going to organize those old pictures. And then I thought about whether it made sense to make this video. People usually make videos with an eye to the future that includes them. Maybe these videos will help my current clients. Maybe these videos will help attract future clients. But what if I don't even exist after December of 2024? Then what? Well, obviously, I decided to go ahead with the video. Because I noticed something weird that happens when healers or healthcare practitioners die. In many cases, it's almost like they lose credibility because they died. All of a sudden, people are like, well, I guess they didn't know that much about health. Because look at them now, dead. Well, guess what? Everybody dies. The person was never the important part of the message anyway. The person is just a character in a play. The important part is the message. So I hope that if any of my messages are helpful for you, that you will always take and use the useful parts of the message. Don't ever doubt the usefulness of a helpful message, even if something shitty happens to the messenger. And anyway, what's to say that scooting off the mortal coil is something shitty? So what am I going to do with my maybe last two months? Well, I wrote this letter to my kid with instructions on who to call and where to find the important papers. I already did my will and all that the last time I thought I was going to die, which was in early 2021. I also already paid for my cremation the time before that that I thought I was going to die, which was in 2012. Which reminds me that sometimes just thinking you're going to die can really light a fire under your butt. After the 2012 scare, I prioritized traveling to my bucket list places with my kid, and we ended up going to some really incredible places and locking in some very precious memories. After the 2021 scare, I finally wrote that book that I always said I wanted to write. And this time, I don't know, maybe I'll learn to paint real fast. Dive back into music after a decades-long hibernation. Just keep knocking out dorky videos that become weirdly popular after I'm gone? The main thing is, if you become aware that your time on this stage as this character in this play is limited, then it's a lot easier to focus on what you're really here to do. Some cynical people will say, yeah, easy for you to say, you privileged jackass. But tell you what, I grew up with an Asian parent who could have made a living as a demotivational speaker. Whenever I had a dream like wanting to grow up and be a writer, this parent would say to me, people like us don't make it. They would tell me that if you're not born into privilege, and you don't have a charismatic personality, then you can only be three things, a soldier, a priest, or if you're smart, a doctor. Creative work was something only available to rich people. I realized later that you can do what you want and that you can define what making it means. That parent still thinks I'm a loser to this very day, but I'm pretty grateful for my life and I think I've made it just fine, even if I'm gone by next year.
So take what you will from this video. And if it turns out that it was just another false alarm, and I'm still here for years to come, just remember the messenger is irrelevant. It's all about the message and what that message means to you.